Great guards tonight for both teams. Did you ever spend any time in the backcourt at, at any level when you were playing? No, I was a ball handling forward, Kevin, and it served me well, but I was not a guard. I was a forward that could dribble and pass fairly well. So you were ahead of your time because that's all we see now in the NBA, right? Guards are not always bringing the ball up. Yeah, you know, somebody just mentioned that to me, um, Kevin, that I was maybe a tad ahead of my time back in the late 70s. And he gets the bucket. Guys, how about the ball handling by Rosette? Showing you a little bit of the back to the future Rose with those moves. It's Hardaway with the drive. Yeah, way to play and attack both and get to the line. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. <laughs> and Hardaway's nickname came from his grandmother. She was calling him pretty, but with that southern draw, it sounded like Penny. Now, here's Rose. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact, straightforward call, simple. Detroit getting their first free throws of the game. And he knocks down the first one. Well, I tell you what, this guy gives you everything he's got when he's out there. And that's what you love about Derrick Rose, how fierce he is as a competitor. Inside. Stolen by Rose. Here's Kennard. A three-pointer, no good. And Scott has it in the corner. Pass to Shaq. And Shaq with the slam. Boy, nobody wants to get in his way when he's this deep. Watch out. Rose gets the bucket. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Detroit with the ball. Pass to Wood. Left side, Griffin. To the left wing. Rose. Good. Rose has got eight points. What a find by Griffin. He's a lot more skilled as a passer than he gets credit for as far as power forwards go. He has terrific vision. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And guys, I like the fact that he chose the one hand tomahawk slam because you get a little higher when you go off one hand and one foot. And then Hardaway with the dunk. And just flew it off the dribble. Great length to finish and Hardaway attacking now with purpose. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. It's tipped. Pass to Shaq. Out of bounds, Orlando takes possession. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. So for the Pistons. Come on, shoot. 152 left here in the first quarter. I think he'll think twice about attempting that shot next time. The defense was right on top of him there. Left side Hardaway. Orlando moving the ball around. And it is Shaq. How many times have we seen that? And Hardaway, Penny Hardaway. Boy, what a terrific passer he is. Great floor awareness and does an excellent job finding the open man. So the wing on the left. Back to Galloway. Over Hardaway. 
And again, Detroit. Just there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Get up, get up, get up, get up. We've got 113 left to play in the first. All alone. It's Hardaway has got six points. And how about O'Neal's? And so Galloway with it. He'll bring it up for the Pistons. Trailing by two. It's Brown with the drive. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. There's 49 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Pass to Rollins. To the inside. Turner. Turner uses the glass to finish the layup. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Five straight baskets, Greg, resulting from assist. They're playing as one unit out there. Here's Doom Boy. Out of bounds. Out of bounds, Orlando takes possession. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. Three second difference between shot clock and game clock. Here's Shaw. And Henson pulls it down. Brown feeling it out a bit. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. This is his first trip to the line tonight. First free throw is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Here is Shaw. Out to the wing. Here's Royal. And it's off from three-point range. Some great action here early as we end the first quarter. Clark in a tie. And back with the start. And from what we've seen from Orlando, what do you guys see? I impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. Yeah, you know what? Makes it really easy for the coaching staff in that case. No adjustments needed. Just keep on keeping on. Clearly the defense could have been better there, guys, but he also needs to convert that. Here's Hardaway. Finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. Hardaway has got the lead up to two now for the Magic. Over to the wing. Jumboya gets a wide open look. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Zone defense, Clark, being played now by a lot of teams. It's amazing that even with that, the point totals just continue to rise. And you know what? I attribute the point totals continuing to rise to a couple of things. One, the volume of three-point shots that are being taken. And I think teams are playing at a little faster pace universally. You don't see as much walking the ball up the floor as I think you may have seen in years past. It's a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldrin. Well, Kevin, in Blake Griffin, the Pistons have their biggest star in years, probably going back to their championship team of 2004. A return to all-star form for Blake meant tremendous individual numbers last season. And the Pistons hadn't won a playoff game in more than a decade. Still not the result they want in 2019. The Pistons will be trying to capitalize during Blake's prime. Kevin, we'll see where this franchise goes from here. He sure will, David, but he's a terrific player. Thank you so much. No one near Henson as he lets it go. He drains the quick shot. And with the passing of time, Henson has developed a nice mid-range jump shot. The defense has got to be aware that he can make that shot. Pass to Rose. Orlando grabs the miss. You know, I think the effort on defense there has everything to do with why he missed that shot. Well done. In the corner, O'Neal with it. Over Griffin. And Shaq gets it to go. Shaq's got eight. 
Boy, a dominant big man is O'Neal. Superb control inside. And this dude will feast on the interior. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Here's Griffin. And then Griffin with the dunk. Yes, he does, Kevin. Love seeing Griffin finish with power at the rim. Awesome at throwing it down when he's in this deep. And Kennard came into the league viewed mostly as a shooter, but he's been able to provide much more than that. I mean, better than you think when he puts the ball on the floor. Learning how to lean into defenders and step back to open up the shot is a better playmaker than he gets credit for, and we should see him take on a larger role as he develops. Let's the free fly. Nice D from Scott. Just a enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. A beautiful pass. Penny to set it up. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Galloway, no good. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Here's Grant. Here's Shaq. And Shaq with Time the out, slam. Time out. Good to see a player going all out when the game's this tight. You know, G.A., he knows what his job is. Patrol the offensive glass. He makes coming out of this timeout. 136 left now here on the second. To the paint. Shoots from 12. Detroit, no good that time either. Orlando leading. To the middle. And slam dunk by Rollins. Just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Somebody you can count on. He is an extremely reliable finisher. Here is Shaw. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. It's good. Bowie's got the lead back up to three now for Orlando. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent passing. And I love the way he uses his size there to make sure he gets that board. Here's Turner. Here's Rollins. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. This is his first free throw of the game. And the first one at the line is good. Collins hits them both. There's 38 seconds left in the first half of the game. Two for one, probably the way to go. You can't just heave it, though. I mean, it's got to be a quality shot. No defensive pressure at all. I mean, that's not going to get it done against him. Pass to Turner. Nineteen seconds left in the first half. Here is Shaw. Just five on the clock. Out to Turner. Over Maker. The shot by Turner, no good. And if you ask me what percentage of the time he's making that shot, my answer would be in the single digits. Well, you can't be... And that'll do it for the first half of competitive game so far. Magic lead by three. We're going to step away. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Here's Rose. And it's sent back by O'Neal. Love seeing O'Neal use his body to come up with those blocks. An imposing force and a pretty consistent defender as well. Just rubbing it in their faces with that dunk. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off the pedal. And that's terribly demoralizing for a defense, guys. I mean, they know he's going to keep coming and coming and coming and that they may not have an answer for it. Mark, as you're watching a game unfold, what characteristics do you look for in a great closer? Obviously confidence, a real eagerness to make difference-making plays late and somebody who can create his own shot if a play breaks down. I mean, that's essential. 
Here's Hardaway. And another shot. And the dunk by O'Neal. When he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changers. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Yes, yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. Knocked away. Stolen by Anderson. And now the fast break. Anderson with the ball. Count that one. And it's a nine-point Orlando lead. Oh, wow. Four or five to start the half. Coming out on fire. Clearly out of sync to begin this half. Oh, for their first three attempts. Here's Hardaway. Oh, oh that oh. was terrific. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, offensively, they've just been rolling. Impossible to stop. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected time out, time out. defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just uh, against his constitution. Time called here. But just to warn them out in the paint. They, they need to come up with a plan to limit his touches in the interior. So Detroit going with an almost entire new group here. And again, it's the Pistons missing. Oof, ugly start to the second half. They're still scoreless with their first five attempts. And Anderson gets it to go. And usually teams go on runs, and it comes from a lot of layups and dunks. But not now. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Jumboy has got six. You know, even though he's not a lights-out shooter from deep, the defense still has to be more aggressive there. Here's Hardaway. He can't get that one to fall. And Detroit the other way now. When this game is done, they'll be off to take on the Raptors. And that will conclude a four-game road trip. And every miss finds its way to his hands. Well, what an impressive performance. Tell you what, those are crazy numbers, guys. I mean, believe me, I was a good rebounder in my day. It is not easy to corral that many boards in one night. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Blake Griffin. The Magic have split their free throws right down the middle so far. They're two for two. Right away, hits them both. And Detroit has possession. It's a 14-point game. Here's Brown. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Oh, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. Clark, when you think of athleticism specific, talk about the changes athletically we've seen in the league, say, since the 80s. It's dramatically different. I mean, there have been tremendous athletes through every decade of the league's existence, but it's gotten better with improved training and more knowledge about the anatomy of the body and how to enhance its performance. But now it seems like great athletes are, you know, a dime a dozen versus eight to a dozen back in the 80s. Here's Hardaway, and it's Hardaway with the jam. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go, baby. It is showtime. And why not? A little salt in the wound. The more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys reeling and on the ropes. Okay, well, let's go down to David. If you need